Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. Went to the thrift store today and I picked up a whole ton of So let's check it out. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit, and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Do it now. So yeah, it's a Friday. Went to my hotspot today and uh, did not disappoint, man. There was a ton of Nerf in there, and it's all good stuff, and it's all cheap. Uh, I'm going to get into some of the... Uh, I went to one other thrift store. I'm going to get into a few items that are non-Nerf, and then I'll sh go to the big thrift store where I got the Nerf and, and show you the stuff I got there. Oh, actually, also, for the grand finale, I'm going to save from this first thrift store, I'm going to save the last item for the very last of the video. But uh, it's something, in my opinion, it's really cool. It's toy-related as well. But, but at that first thrift store, which is my local thrift store, I picked up a couple of these... Uh, uh, they're from the 90s, uh, McDonald's uh, Batman Forever gla uh, glasses. They have different characters on them. The ones I found today was the Two-Face one and the Riddler one. They were 95 cents a piece. I always pick these up when I find them. I have probably several sets of these, the whole collection. I think there's five. There's uh, Two-Face, the Riddler, Batman, Robin, and maybe one other. Maybe there's only four. I can't remember if there's a fifth one. No, nah, actually, I think there's only four. So... I think Robin is the one that's the most uncommon. So I'm just going to add these two to the ones I have. You can, if you get the whole set of these together, I think it's a set of four, if I remember correctly, you can sell them for a pretty good sale, maybe like a $30 sale, something like that. Somebody who is nostalgic like I am that wants to buy the collection. So yeah, in the, uh, in the mid nineties, whenever Batman forever movie came out at McDonald's, you could get these glasses at McDonald's and, uh, they're really cool. They're very detailed too. Check them out if you haven't ever. Picked up one remote from that uh, thrift store. It was a 95 center. It's probably like a eight, $9 remote, nothing big. It's a sharp audio system remote. It was nice and clean. It's just gonna be one of my items that I have on standby whenever I want a quick item to list. Then the last thing other than the grand finale item that I got from that thrift store was uh, it's a 295 bag of phones. The bag's kind of ripped open, so I'm not gonna pull it out, but it was a older Panasonic model of phones. Uh, I think these are, pretty good ones, maybe like $15 sales a piece. Uh, there's a whole, a total of, uh, there's a total of three handsets and the charging cradles and everything for them. So that's one thing I'll be working on, uh, for less than three bucks. Oh, by the way, of course, 10% discount again too. So for less than three bucks, I thought that was a pretty good one to go in on. Okay. Let's get into the, the big thrift store. This thrift store, man, like I've said, it's the one that takes cash only that I go to. Uh, I don't know why they take cash only, but this time I got some cash out and went over there with the anticipation to get some Nerf because every time I go there, there's like, I have my pick of Nerf, it seems like. Uh, I leave stuff behind, uh, like the bigger, bulkier Nerf guns, obviously the ones that aren't working well or just the ones that I don't think are as in the nice condition or are going to sell for as much money. So it's it's really awesome and today was no exception. But before that, I bought two phone bags there um, they were both 995 but I looked these up this is like a, a Panasonic model phone uh, a little bit of an older model uh, this particular model I think is uh, the same like over $15 uh, per handset and charging cradle and I think there was four at least four in here so for 10 bucks I can turn this into 50 60 70 dollars worth of sales hopefully and then another one for 999 as well was an AT&T model phone and uh these models are about the same as far as price so you know paying up a little bit on these bags but uh another thing about these phone sets both of them they look complete and they look clean and i see that they have batteries so as long as the batteries end up working uh these will be some of the easiest phone sets to deal with because it's just bust them out wipe them down test them out and put them up for sale as multi-quantity listings all right, we got that out of the way. Now let's get into the fun stuff. So to my left over here, I've got just like an arsenal of Nerf stuff I picked up today. So the one that I shot at you at the beginning of the video was a Hyperfire Elite. So this one was a little bit more pricey. It was 595. 
uh, it had the actual, I believe this is the actual drum magazine that normally goes with the Hyperfire Elite. It was laying, that's another thing, I go over there, there's magazines and all sorts of stuff laying everywhere, and I'll be sure and piece everything together to, uh, you know, whether it belongs or not, it doesn't matter. You just grab as many accessories as you can and attach them up to your stuff and make sure you get the max value for your, your buck. So the Hyperfire Elite, that's obviously, I tested it on camera. Uh, nice condition. I sold this one recently for 30 something dollars with not even the drum magazine. So, not a bad one. Oh man! Ooh. <laughs> it's coming back to me. The camera not being knocked down. I am a sharp shooter. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Don't do it in my face. That was the last one. This is a Russian roulette. <laughs> All right, for a dollar ninety-nine, I got another Mega Cyclone shot. Uh, I just saved these up. I have a lot of six of them for sale right now. Not getting a buy. I'm trying to make it like a fifty-day dollar sale because these always come in cheap, and uh, these are the great ones for the party packs, basically. So I'm gonna save this one and collect it towards another lot. Found some old school Nerf stuff today. Another recon, uh, kind of old school. Uh, all this stuff was laying loose in the bin. I know it all goes with it, of course, though. So I, the buttstock was with it and it had a magazine. And I found the barrel and the uh, laser dot as well. So I've got everything but the top sight to make another Raycon CS6. So that's cool. I like to take the, the old yellowish blasters like this and make a lot of them together once I, I get enough of them. Got two uh, stockades uh, with the buttstocks, too. These are cool. These were both $2.99 a piece. You saw my wife test one out already on camera. I usually don't find these with the butt stock, so these are be nice to see how well they do. Uh, I think it's a pretty desired blaster because these are the kind that are battery powered that they spin a, a belt and then they're belt fed basically. So they shoot pretty well. I'll get into some of the bags I picked up today. For $3.99, I got this bag. I, I actually snuck this magazine in. Uh, this is a a six round magazine for a Nerf Mega Blaster, like the Cyclone cyclone Shock. I have one Cyclone Shock left that needs a magazine, so now I can maybe try to sell it. Maybe, actually, with that other Mega Blaster that I just picked up, maybe I can make a, a lot with it in the Cyclone shot, Shock, a really huge blaster. So then, uh, the rest of this bag was some Zombie Strike stuff, and a couple of other blasters. There's a little Zombie Strike pistol here, I don't know. This thing doesn't look like it's... Actually, this is supposed to have a saw blade on it and it's missing. So here's a non-working one. Uh, got an old uh, Nerf dart tag single shot pistol that we'll add to a lot. And we have a uh, Nerf Proton, which is a... These are for the disc shooting blasters. So once I get more... Actually, I have more disc shooting blasters. I can add this to a lot. And then just a little fire strike. Uh, of course, all these little pistols like this, all these little pistol style blasters, I basically add to bigger blasters and make the lots more attractive. Here's another bag I got for $3.95. It's got a Maverick in it, but it looks like they, they stripped away the cylinder part to where, I don't know what they're doing with that, but uh, yeah, this one's kind of beat up, so it's gonna be a non-working one. But then we've got again another proton. So, and then uh, and then we got another disc shooter called the diatron. I have never really dealt with this one too much. So, starting to get a lot of the disc shooting blasters together. We can make a lot of those. And the last bag, uh, the cheapest one, two ninety nine, but it has the best stuff in it. It's got two stripes in it. And these stripes, uh, these are battery operated ones. You can hear the motor. Uh, these are pretty desired. Uh, I think it's because they're really small, compact, and they, they work really well. And they're uh, basically like, they're semi-automatic. So uh, I've had good luck selling these. I could sell this with some, not too much with it, make like a, over a $40 sale most of the time. So for $2.99, this is a great bag right here. Two stripes, and they're both, I can, you can, I can hear that they're working well already. All right, then I've got two. These were new ones to me. Um, these are called evaders. 
One was $2.99, one was $3.99, but they're both exactly the same. This has a, uh, one of them, let's see, I think one of them had, oh, this one has batteries. This has a light up feature. I, don't, I guess you can probably pick that up. I don't know what the intent is it, of it is for, but we'll have to see. Uh, you can see all the workings of this thing. So got two of those with their appropriate magazines, $2.99 a piece. I figure I'll try these out. They look nice and uh, got to be worth, uh, got to be worth $2.99 and $3.99 for sure. And finally, uh, here's another new one for me, Nerf Elite Infinis. Uh, very heavy duty blaster. Uh, currently has working batteries in it too. This one has some kind of thing, I don't know, like some kind of feed right here. I don't know if you feed a, a dart in there or what. Oh yeah, I guess you can just manually feed, I guess you can just, it has a dart feeding mechanism. Anyways, this one's new to me. Uh, it's got its own special drum magazine because it has this blue covering on it. So, uh, and I don't know, some dart feeding feature, I guess, but it didn't work very well right now when I tried it. I don't know, I'll have to check it out. But uh, it, this one was the most expensive, but I'd never had it before and it seems like it's uh, pretty next level. So I got it, it was $7.99. Okay, last but not least, at the second throw at the thrift store, not the one with all the nerf, like I said, this is the grand finale. It's pretty much just for me, but uh, I am going to put it for sale. Uh, I paid up for it, but it's pretty interesting. And so it is a vintage uh, 1998 Tyco electronic uh, racing car doomsday dual race set. So the price tag there is $24.99 and I got a 10% discount on that. Uh, this thing, yeah, is unopened. This thing has never been opened from 1998. Pretty crazy. Let's see if you can check out the back here. So, I mean, 1990s vintage artwork on it and everything. Uh, I think People are trying to sell this for like 80-ish or something like that, new. So since I paid with a discount, probably around $22, $23, uh, I'm gonna put it for sale a little higher than that and let it sit. And I'm gonna let it sit somewhere on my uh, toy shelf here because <laughs> it's really awesome looking. Uh, man, you don't see that every day, something still sealed like that from the 90s uh, toy set. Most kids open these. I guess maybe an adult collector open, uh, bought it back in the day. So, so yeah, Doomsday Duel. All right, guys. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was my pickups. Uh, pretty good run today. Man, what a ton of Nerf, uh, vintage toys, and some good electronics. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting finds, tips, and tricks, or just leave me a comment in the comment section. I always appreciate it. Have a good day.